first match underway. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> Which we're not loading yet. <laughs> <laughs> Press that play button! Yeah. But so far I would actually uh, say that Lesbos Archers, the blue team, has a slight advantage in the overall... Like just looking at commanders and units, not like the player that's commanding them. But those chevlins on the red team are a threat. So they have to deal with them, I guess. I don't know, Marik Spanas is doing some last second speeches. <laughs> okay, quite poor. I wonder how the other teams are doing in terms of matches. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see some scores going down. Actually, I have to check where the. The castle spots are on this map, I don't remember. Shoot me too. <laughs> uh, for top I mean, right so, somewhere in the for side. forest, yeah, I sort of remember, but I want to check exactly. Yep. Not the best spots, but the best spots on this map, I guess. <laughs> Classic matchup of who loads faster. Okay, which <laughs> planet? Oh boy. You know, funny thing is that I have the exact same graphic cards as my old PC, but I on my old PC I had to play uh, on almost lowest graphics. I have everything mm -hmm. ultra, and I'm running like 120 FPS. Mm, yeah. Just the difference that good RAM makes, I guess. Because yes, like indeed. my CPU was good as well. It wasn't that bad. But now it's well, so much more powerful as well. You got the twenty seven hundred X, right? Yep, the best one. Yeah, it's a really good. It's a really good CPU for streaming and gaming. Capture their base or like if you do both, down. it's really good. Okay, so I hide somewhere over here. Like right around here, I think. Yeah. So let's see. So calf spawned in the open. The rest is in the city. Yeah, on the side of uh, Lesbos Arches, pretty much everything goes city. That's their setup. Yeah. They will have to watch out for the base not being captured. But they have one spear player and Spanats over there. With his uh, Ar no Arches, he's actually sending to to the city as well. So just yeah. cavalry and triple spearmen on the plain side. Everything else in the we city. And yeah, we got already our blood first archer duel. Yeah. Osaka versus Pelasgus. Come on, Pelasgus is Ambriorix, Osaka is Arminius Arches. Yeah. Ambriorix is just a lot so of much there. better. Oh yeah. Yeah, you have pretty good shot in the but then there we go. That was a barrage from Cosmos, I think, into Pelasgus, so he ate some damage yeah. as well. Klein can but I think they traded him. around equally. Um, yeah. The rest There's a little is bit of up, I guess. Uh, to blue team right now. It's just a yeah. range duel at this moment, no melee engagements yet. But Tiberius Maximus holds that watchtower, which is very, very useful. Wicked Pirate, as I said, deployed on that um, main street and just controls it. And yep. just no one dares to enter there, so they have the watchtower, like, no matter what, pretty much at this point. Indeed. And it looks like they're still looking for, like, an. Oh, opening. nice. Historic uh, KC just found a volley of javelins into Pelasgus. Yeah, that a lot of is... damage. Yeah, Kleinke missed his focus fire on that <clears throat> javelin blob, but he blobbed himself, so he didn't have flat arcs. Now he oh, had Pikes got in engaged at the watchtower. Pikes got caught. Yeah. I'm Freezy just provided a Divine Conqueror. He couldn't <clears throat> use Pike Phalanx, yep. and now they're getting wrecked. A bastard should just wreck him in melee. It looks like he doesn't have a 100% missile block. Like no, it. He does, and the but... javelins from Stroika are coming in as well. Now it's like yeah, Chevlin was a Chevlin duo, fight. But supported by oh, and Spanas Arches. and Osaka. So <clears throat> I'm Freezy has to pull back. Now we see Sin and Jenny engaging on the left side. Um, Tiberius should follow with support. He's not being silenced over here. And Sivor is getting around, flanking them, or setting up to flank um, the enemy yeah. in the back. 
Dot is helping there with his proscription, so that's swinging the <clears throat> engagement around in uh, yes. Royal Pertus' favor. A lot of archers just can roam around because there's no cavalry threat at the moment. Sivori going yeah. around. Oh, my phone is actually <clears throat> their team. So Sivori going around, pressuring those archers now. Um, we see some flanking one of us. Spanas, no, that's not Spanats. Ephalon is pressuring the back line as well. Spanas is just roaming around, chasing Ephalon. I think he should come and help his team apply pressure uh, in the city. Yes. Um, with enough pressure, they can definitely break and find some uh, either charges into archers or javelmen. Yeah. Then again, their archers now will Sivor... have Grimmin shot and javelmen will have Caltrops. Yeah, and Sivor just uh, engaged in the middle. He walked yeah. all the way around the map. Blue team won the engagement the uh, on the left side of the city. Uh, so Sin versus Jenny. Jenny won that engagement with the help of Tiberius. Um, yes. Dot pulled back with his three Arii, holding the line for his archers. In terms of range matchup, um, Ostroy is taking a lot of damage from. I, I would say it, it's pretty equal at the moment. Ooh, Dot now just got wrecked by Osaka, I think, and uh, Story as well. Yeah, the range are still trading. It's pretty equal. Nice. Oh, Ephelon is going in, he sneaked in, he's going for the archers, no for the javelin actually. Yeah, he got the charge into javelins and, and into Osaka as well. And into Spanas nice as well, charge. that's very good yes. charge. No card troops from Story K, so even though he yeah. had them, I don't know if he used them before or if he just And he hardly react. lost any horses doing it. Yeah, Spanas didn't prevent Ephelon, uh, didn't counter charge him. And now he's... Now Sin is engaging side. Tiberius. Um, though Spanats found uh, a similar charge on the other side and he has Defiance, so he just charges in, pops up Defiance and for how many seconds? 23 seconds, he's unkillable. Yes. It looks like <clears throat> Spanats' team is winning, slowly but surely grinding the rate of victory. The Maximus yeah, but they have the Archer disadvantage. Um, now Kors is moving in and he is full uh, well, he had full archers, but they he have, got charged uh, by VR. Um, Royal Pertas are almost out of infantry. That's literally like VR caves Y uh, with one unit, two units, then the OTL yeah. with something and same, almost dead. Compared to what um, Lesbos archers have, that's a huge advantage. Yes. And now Tiberius is in Pike Falling, just mowing down two units of spears, so they are done as well. I think at this point is. Pretty much certain that Lesbos Archis will take the victory, but we will yes. see. Sivori now chasing Kleinke, the signing against it, turning around to face mm. uh, the Archis Y. And we'll be getting VR some and Kleinke might be able to um, annihilate a whole unit here, like under the base. Yeah, they should be, but it won't happen fast, really. Yeah. They don't have enough firepower not enough. and not enough killing power in the Phalanx. Yeah, but Lesbos Archers is just pushing now forward, um, mowing down one unit after the other methodically, slowly. There's nothing between Spanats and Pelasgos right now, except for that one dying cow and very yeah. alive busted unit. Um, they somehow like said, like, not much swap, left. <laughs> swapped around. Like, Sivari was on this side, VRX was on the other side, now they are the other way around. <laughs> yep, and Cosinus is alive with pretty much all his firepower. Yes. Yeah, he does like 12 men. Yeah, so Light he's is fire, alive as well. A lot of firepower, so that alone wins them the range matchup. Now it's just a matter of pushing towards the enemy base, clearing up everything on the way, whatever's left. Yeah, for them we will get routed and shattered. And Pelascos is moving in. If I'm trying to find another city. charge, maybe into Casinos. So, oh, no, dodged. He got wicked pirate a little bit, but that doesn't matter. Light artillery doesn't care at all um, yeah. about their losses. Velasquez roaming around, but few flat arc volleys, and Velasquez is down as well. But Casinos is blobbing, so he won't find those, and Velasquez will be able to dodge them. Maybe Athlon can get a charge on the archers, but I doubt it. 
Too much he, infantry he's still alive. Everything, yeah, and there's nothing pressuring that infantry, so that infantry can just yeah. entirely focus on blocking Avalon. So that's not exactly. happening. Yeah. Custom some blocked again, so we can find some shots into Pelasgus, but Pelasgus run away. And here an arrow range, yeah. Yeah, now slowly but surely they're making ground. Yeah, all that Team Lesbos Arches now has to do is just push towards the inner base and cap it. The Team Royal Pontus will have to come back and decap. Yep. And once they do it, they'll get shot and killed. No, I found was close to finding some charge, but ultimately he won't, or maybe. Uh, maybe. Slightly. Um, he's about it. Yeah, he's dead. Maybe Pilatus can get a couple more shots in, but. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much over at this point. Yep, Tiberius is blocking that <laughs> too many unit of Germanicus and his sidekick. Well, hugging very closely. With Pirate now set up to kill Klanke. That's some nice damage. A lot of disruption. VRXY trying to pressure with Pirate, but he has his Wardman there to protect himself. And Archer support. So he's yep. more than safe. The enemy base will be alive. Yeah, Klanke and I'm Freezy. Left and right. Klanke and I'm Freezy are now in the in their base. Protecting from Jenny, who can just set up in meme test to the. Yep. And the pikes are moving and applying pressure and pushing the archers away. Yep. And the last melee unit. Oh, well, actually, not last. But the last one that really had any help uh, on the side of <clears throat> Royal Pythas is now being killed. Yes. Um, yeah, they'll waver soon and then one fun either they don't. Which happens now. There they go. And the spears are dead. Now the only melee units that are left are two Roman medium infantry yep. uh, soldiers. And one of them is Germanicus. Um, well, not anymore. <laughs> he just died. <laughs> that's, that's your bastard. And he did. Yep. Get wrecked. Where is he? I lost him. I don't know. My camera is too fast. Now it's 43 oh, archers yeah. versus the rest. The Optimus such as finally are entering the enemy base. So, well, now they just have to wait for Pelasgus to show up and kill him. And Clank. Oh wait, Pelasgus dead, so that's only Clank. Pelasgus dead, yeah. Yeah, I, I missed killed. him being killed. <laughs> Actually, look, I take a look at the score in the meantime. Yeah, Osaka did a lot of damage, aggression-wise. Far See, more than any. Uh, Cosmos is the... close second with that. Well, yep. I mean, not that close, but still quite nice score. Spanatz as well with his cavalry and disruption. I mean, the charge and the defiance is just so good. Victory. Indeed. Okay, everyone did this damage, mm. apart from Sivori, but he um, did enemies. a lot of other stuff. Like yep. chasing, chasing out arches, providing a lot of pressure. Like, um, his flanking maneuver was also essential to his team's victory, so his low score, or well, aggression score, because support score is through the roof. Yeah. So that's... And I actually... Go, go. Go ahead. Okay. So, and I actually didn't even uh, notice any major, like, mistake that have been done. It was like more like, oh yeah, in an archer duel or javelin duel, you could hit a little bit harder and you hit the enemy. So, yeah, no no real mistakes have been made. It was actually pretty even till like the last uh, couple of minutes. Like when all the infantry died. 